Hello and welcome to another video of abstract thesis series and today's video we are going to discuss how can I use the OneDrive image. Now to do that what I have done is I actually uh, went to OneDrive and uploaded some image. I don't have much images with me so I have taken my wife's help. She is runs a uh, uh, Instagram channel where she keep on posting the food blog photos and I have taken some of the photos from her and loaded here. Now these are the photos which I have loaded and actually I wanted to use them in my power bi so what i thought initially is uh, that i'll go to the folder and i'll say share and i can say anyone with this link and i'll say copy and this should help me now copy url so for that i use the share option and in the share i say the same option is there and i say copy and i said copy then i went to power bi and in Power BI, I say, okay, let me create one temp table using enter data and let me paste this. I pasted this URL and I say, okay, let it name be table and I got a table once it is loaded and I say, okay, now let me try to use this. So I went here and then I click on this column I say okay the column property is image URL and let me drag it here I'll create a table and the table should show me the image and you can see a broken image so then I went back to the uh, here and then what I done is this time around I have not done that I said okay go and give me the embed code so I went here I went got the embed code code I selected this I went to power bi and this time I created uh, let me create another new table and I use this embed code so I say okay I do the same step but now with the embed code now I clicked here I again made it as image URL the same thing we have done here we are doing here okay both the tables we are able to get it so now you can see I can see the image and now once I get the image I can go to the properties of this visual three click format and image size and I can increase it let me type 250 150 is the limit so we got the 150 that's the max size now what I've done is I already taken out some more URLs and let me add this to our table now I'll take a new table and I'll add it let's say URL and let me bring this into my file now let's see what happens when we have multiple URL are we able to get it or not so let me paste it and let me call it as image table and we say load Let's create a new page also. Here we go here to this one. We got an image table, image URL, mark it as image URL. Bring this now. We got it. Now three dots, format, image size, max is 150. Even if you type more than that, it's going to give that. Now, sometime what happens is this is something which is not sufficient for you, us. So what we can do is we can take help from some custom visuals if you want. So what we can do is click here and say get more visuals. Because I am using the March version and that's why you see the way I am getting the things is a little bit different because I am using the on object interactions. So we have this uh, few things which are there simple image image grid is one which I like and then there are uh, other one also which is card. Uh, image cards and all those so let's use the image grid and I say add successfully added let us see is it appearing in our images and you can see it's created an image collage and we can make it little bit bigger and then there are different settings size 
height, image, padding, background, visual background, shadow, tiles, settings. Okay, maximum columns, maximum width, top circle, weighted circle, grid. We can create a grid. Okay, so I think grid looks much better in this case. And then we can have, you know, maximum columns. Let's say maximum column is one. Now you can see a bigger image. Or let's say we say two. So in this manner, you can go ahead and get your images and you can use them in Power BI. So go ahead and try that out. Do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.